Hello guys, Lofton Griffer here as always and welcome to customization guide video on the newly introduced pistol for latest update, the FN57. Now this isn't necessarily a video reviewing this pistol, rather giving you guys some information about parts and how you should custom for this and that situation. But regardless, I decided to include short explanation on the pistol itself as many of the real life standing points of the FN57 is reflected to in-game statistical values. The pistol is made by Belgium company the Fabrique Nationale, also known for producing FN Foul Battle Rifle, FN Scar, P90, and a bunch of other famous pre-modern and modern firearms. Now, the FN57 has a lot of unique and bold features to it, but one of the strongest sales points is its bullet's great penetration performance. Just like in real life, FN57 also has one of the highest penetration value in game for sidearms standing at impressive 45. As a trade-off, the pistol suffers with low damage, spamming fire is not an option for the 5.7, you're almost always forced to go for headshot while utilizing its near-perfect accuracy. Everything else is average compared to other semi-automatic pistols in close tiers, however it's worth mentioning that it also has the highest magazine capacity of 30 rounds tied with the Glock 18, which, just to be clear, is a fully automatic pistol. When it comes to parts available for customization, there's really nothing particularly special about it except for the FX2 2x20 optic available at the 11th meta level. Upon completing the task, which is to get 35 double kills, again not too hard, you gain access to a suppressor, most of compensators and micro dots at early tier and later on something a bit more comfortable to use such as iron and micro red dot sight. Now I can try to talk pros and cons of all modifiable parts, but I figured it'll be easier for you guys to understand and easier for me to explain if I separate this guy to three parts, close range, suppressed, and medium long range. When I say close range, I mean of bay 5 and evac size of a map, and for that kind of range, you really won't be needing nothing more than a sight. Your accuracy should be around 98 or higher depending on your skill build, and considering the fact that you won't be needing range performance, there's no space for tactical device as they will only drop down the mobility. Same with Rico compensators, I couldn't really tell the difference between base barrel and the highest performing muzzle break, at least in these smaller maps. Instead, what you need is a sight to make aiming process much faster and easier since getting headshot is the only way to gain kills with this pistol. I might sound extreme, but the amount of bullets you need to squeeze in at higher level servers is just incredible, in bad way of course. My personal favorite is the aim point collimiter, it has less mobility drop compared to iron dot, and I feel that its less field of view actually helps to cope with the visual recoil. Of course, you can pick your own preferred sight. If you like the small and simple dot, use the iron dot. For thermal users, the EOTech hollow sight is best suited, not to mention the default iron sight if you're confident enough about your aim. When it comes down to silencers, suppressors, whichever way you want to call it, there are four different options. Gemtech 9 unlocked by completing the weapon task, Raptor 2 at tier 4, Osprey 9 at 7, and finally the T-Rant at tier 10, just above the Lupard optic. There's only two viable options, if you're customizing FM57 to be a ranged pistol, pick the Osprey Heavy Suppressor with no range penalty, and for every other use, the Gemtech 9 with good balance above all stats. Two other suppressors are also not that bad, but I find the stat balance a little odd or too extreme for use. Finally, let's talk on medium to long range build. Now, it's important to first understand that even with the great accuracy and penetration, FM57 isn't necessarily the best pistol to bring out to OSM, Lighthouse, or Construction. This is because of the low damage and poor effective range every pistol has, including the 57 At 70 meters, which really isn't that far, you will be only dealing 3 damage per shot, if not less than 3 taking armor into account. What this means is that even if you get a perfectly aligned headshot, if the distance is over 70 meters, 75 meters to be accurate, you'll be only dealing 30 damage. In this case, it's just smarter to leave range combat to your primary and stick with Glock 18 or other pistols that gives you different types of advantage. The only time I found a Lupart sniper optic useful was actually in much smaller maps like the Terminal DM. It's good to have a pistol with magnified optic, especially when your primary is some sort of SMG with poor range. It helped me take out head glitching or well-covered enemies in many occasions. 
This is also the first time your muzzle brake and tactical device is going to actually improve your build. Clash or Surfire tactical device will increase effective distance up to 15 meters, or sorry, 15%, and recoil compensators such as Buzzsaw muzzle brake will make your follow up shots more accurate and reliable. So, I hope you guys learned something new out of this guide. The simple verdict of the FM57 is that it's a pistol loaded with an arrow, implying good penetration and poor range performance. Just don't purchase this expecting it to be a CR Stealth Hunter, and as long as you keep its limitation in mind, the FM57 will surely be your good buddy to carry out to the field. This is it for today, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always, and I'll see you in the next one.